What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to show you how to adjust your valves. If you've got it running rough or you hear some valve noise in there, or if you have a lot of miles on your ATV, it's probably time to check your valves and see if they need adjusted. So let's get into the process for how to do that. All right, there are some tools you're gonna need for this. You're gonna need some of these feeler gauges. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you. If you don't have a set of these, you can get some. A 10 millimeter ratchet, which is really common on the Articat ATVs. 10 millimeter wrench. I'm also gonna have an eight millimeter. This here is like a flooring screw for like tile underlayment. And I've just welded it here into a bit. And that is the square size for adjusting the valves, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute once we get into the engine. All right, for this process, you're going to have to go to top dead center. So we're gonna to have to take off the side cover, rotate the engine, and we're also gonna to need to open the cover for the top dead center mark to find out where that is. So there's actually a few more tools we're gonna to need. The T25 Torx. We can get to this nut right here. And this is what's gonna allow us to turn the engine over. So you're gonna want it in neutral. It's gonna turn our crankshaft and it's gonna put our cylinder and we want to get our cylinder to top dead center. The next thing you wanna open up is this here is the inspection plug to see that we're at top dead center. So we need to get that open. That is an eight millimeter. All right, with that plug out, we can see the magneto there and there's a mark on it for top dead center. So I'm gonna pull the spark plug and that will relieve the pressure when it's trying to compress in there. We'll just spin this around until we see that we're on top dead center and we need to be on the compression stroke. Once you have the spark plug out, you can actually stick your finger in the hole and when you rotate this around, you'll feel the air coming out of the spark plug hole or it's gonna be sucking it in. All right, there's our mark, and that's where we're gonna be with it on the compression stroke. I've already got the plastics off here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the air box here so I can get to the head of the engine and the valves right there. If you missed that video or you're doing this for the first time, check it out here on how to remove all the plastics and get down to the bare bones so you can make your ATV a whole lot easier. Alright, I got my feeler gauges here and what we're going for, as you can see here, for the Arctic Cat 550 and 700, we're going for intake between 8 and 12. Alright, so here on my feeler gauges I've got 7, 6, to 10, 12, 7 here, so I think I'm going to go with the 10. That gets in between our range in the specifications and for the exhaust it's 13 to 17 millimeter, so I've got 12 to 15. So I'm gonna go with the 15 here on that. So we're gonna go with the 10 on the intake and a 15 on the exhaust. All right, so this back here is our intake and these up here are gonna be our exhaust. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the intake valve. All right, to adjust this, I'm going to loosen up that nut and I'm going to stick my tool in here on that square. You can see these are, these are a square drive so getting one of these, making up one of these with a screw or finding a square drive bit that is that size is going to be really good for you. That way I can move this and adjust that. I'm going to stick my feeler in there for the correct size. This one is a 10. This is 8 to 12 here on the front, so that's what I'm going with here. So I'll slip my feeler gauge in there, and I'm going to screw this down until I've got a vessel slide, but it's not loose in there, so it's just this size that I'm going for. And once that's where I want it, 
right there and I'm gonna tighten this down double check my feeler here and then give that a final snug that's right where I want that and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side Alright, now with both of them adjusted, I'm going to double check with my feeler gauge that I'm on this one. And I'm going to try a size larger to make sure I'm not too large. So I'm going to readjust this one because it got a little off. Alright, once they're all adjusted and you're to the right specifications, you can go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, on the other side, we're just gonna do the same thing. This is our exhaust side. So we're going with a little larger size on our feeler. Alright, now that we're adjusted, we've got both these set. You can go ahead and button this all back up. Alright guys, that's about it for this video on how to adjust the valve type of clearance. Hope this video helps you out. Be sure to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.